the descent on its way. Ready. And racing, taking a fly there with Ziggy Baxter straight to the front from Swirling Idiot. Now looking to get into the race is another Ranger. Getting off the track now is Car Drago. Very wide there is Dark Witch. You're finding trouble there. Another Ranger got back in the favourite. Nighthawk Rose found trouble too. Also back in the field is Carl Drago. And one o'clock they go for home. And Ziggy Baxter has left them to it and is going to race away. Oh, very close here for second. Nighthawk Rose has done a great job bursting through. Has probably got second. And uh, third, very close here. We had Dark Witch Swirling. Eddie was coming right down the outside. Great line up for second and third. Not too far away there was uh, Chief Baxter. And uh, back towards the tail here, Carl Drago just to come away from the rail. <laughs> Lua rolls, ready. And there they go. And jumping best the inside there is so unbelievable. But out wide, Magic Dandy's also charging up. And just on the inside to which Misty looking for racing room around the outside. Another plane just in behind Corborne Eden. Sedgebrook Charm and out the back is Denali. They run to the corner. Magic Dandy looking to back up and races away. Three or four here on so unbelievable. Magic Dandy so unbelievable. Which Misty. Then we go to Corborne Eden not too far away. Another plane. Then we go back to Sedgebrook Charm and Denali. Probably a good thing that Ryan brought up. Dogs backing up because Magic Dandy has done just that and has scouted around the outside. Lewis swings round for the third, ready. And racing and jumping will the inside. There is Fox and Boxer now trying to go with it. It's rubbed out. Looking to get a run up on the inside now. It's Corborn Ohio. Gets a good run through there. Silver Toe Cam around the outside. Opawa Massini just in behind Pacific Sunrise. Back in the field now. We've got uh, McLovin just going ahead of that Opawa Gavin. Down the back they go. And in front, Corborn Ohio. Away by four or five. Trying to come out after it is Opawa Massini. Just in behind is rubbed out. Not too far away. Pacific Sunrise. The best of the rest looks to be Opawa Gavin. They go for home. Opawa Ohio still in front. Coming out at Opawa Massini too late. Corborn, Ohio will get there okay from Opawa Massini. Great line up here for third. Uh, that's possibly gone there to uh, Pacific Sunrise over rubbed out. Nothing in that. Closing off ball was Opawa Gavin. And it's just in behind there on crossing would have been uh, Silver Toe Cam was also back along there with uh, McLovin. <laughs> Out to box away uh, in race number four here. They're all all but boxed away for the racing at Hattrick on Wednesday. Class one's over 305 metres. Favourite drawn six. Ready, set. The racing, Ollie Boy was away fairly speed there. Homebush Limbo straight to the lead from Azure Dreams. And here come the favourites, Ollie Boy and Dream Zone around the outside. Then we've got Opawa Tomo into the clear. The last few, Opay who fly a bundle and Lass and Nina be good on the swing. Your favourite, Ollie Boy's done the job on them. Swung clear from Azure Dreams. Then we've got Opawa Tomo, but it's Ollie Boy the prize. From Opawa Tomo, a good run to second, I think, from Azure Dreams. Then Homebush Limbo, Dream Zone found a bit of trouble. Nina B. Good was towards the tail with Opehu Flyer and Bandor and Lass, the last one in. So there we go. He's got the job done, the hot favourite, Ollie Boy. Lua charges round. <coughs> Ready. And racing into jumping well out wide here. Binger Gawap is charging up around the outside there of Lockie Jewel. Also racing into it. Not too far away is Ivan Hove. Also two or three back. Here we go to uh, Homebush Lucifer. Just in behind Smart Dandy. Also Lynn Baxter getting back in the field. Consummate he's dropping off his spirit. Tell the favourite something wrong there. Ivan Hove got to the lead and comes away from Homebush Lucifer. Then we go to Binger Gawap. got to third. Then on crossing Lockie Jewel. Then we go back here too. But Lynn Baxter, Smart Dandy, uh, Consummate he's and Spirit Tello. We'll take another look at that and see what happened there to the favourite. But no doubt about the winner here in Ivanhoe for Don Kedderwell.
Ready, set. Racing, our Gypsy was away safely, runs towards the lead there with Magic White Lock and Ace Fails with them also. Mariah gets a nice run through now as well. Then we've got Elusive Babe. The last few now, Alamein Jude out the back with into the fray and Torero down the back. They go, your favourites looking good, our Gypsy. It's got five links to the better of Magic White Lock, then Ace Bail, Mariah. Then we've got Elusive Babe, Alamein Jude, the last two there can't be in it. Torero and into the fray on the swing and your favourites doing it like it should. Six or eight in front from Magic White Lock and Ace Bail, but it's a nice win. Our Gypsy from Magic White Lock, Ace Bale, Mariah runs fourth. Alamein Jude, that was a nice run. Then we've got Elusive Babe, Torero making up ground. Bit too late there. And the last one home was into the fray. So there we go. That's how they should be winning when they're uh, paying that kind of money. And $1.60 on the tote. Lewis sent on its way now for the seventh. Set to go, ready. And racing and taking a fly there is Smash Allegro straight to the front now from Grand Allegro going a big race fresh up around the outside come Freedom Flyer also tracking into it Sweet as Bro Subic Bay just in behind them a couple back here to Sedgebrook Favour dropping off now is Corborn Stephen Wild Effector they go for home Smash Allegro out wide trying hard as Grand Allegro but Smash Allegro will get there from Grand Allegro then we go to Freedom Flyer Subic Bay not too far away then on crossing here to a Sweet as Bro the inside to Sedgebrook Bay towards the tail Corborn Stephen Wild Effective didn't get into it. Smash Allegro coming back to a sprint. The two Allegros just getting away. Grand Allegro's gone a big race to fresh up. Set to go, ready. And racing into jumping will the inside here is Corborn Brick out wide now. Scoozy's charging up and also trying to get around the outside is Corborn Crouch. Getting a run through now is Springvale Harry just on the outside to chase in the line. Just in behind that to kissing Gwyneth out wide here to check the mail. And out the back is Corborn Christie down the back. Scoozy sets him up. Corborn Crouch is right there though. Two or three back here to Corborn Brick not too far away. Springvale Harry back we go to chasing the line. Check the mail also back is Corborn Christie and Qu Qu kissing Gwyneth. They go for home. Scoozy still in front of trying hard as Corborn Brick went off the rail but too late, Scoozy will get there from Corborn Brick. Then we go to Corborn Crouch to third. Springvale Harry, pretty much the favourite order. Then we go to uh, check the mail, not too far away, chasing the line. Corborn Christie and also back towards the tail, uh, kissing Gwyneth. Too good, Scoozy. Here in race number nine for the Taranaki meeting. Lewis sent on its way, ready. And racing and flying out there all in Berlin's going to go straight to the lead, put two or three on Greater Jack coming out after, around the outside comes Mad Music and also there Corborn Butsy the rail opens up for Opawa, Jackie then we go to Ebert Bale, they're getting back Opawa, Shaden gets a shuffle there with Boston Lightning, they go for home and out wide here all in Berlin, driving the inside, Greater Jack all in Berlin will beat Greater Jack then we go here to the Corborn Butsy's arrived for third, then on crossing here to Opawa Jackie, Ebert Bale, then we go back here to but Mad Music, Boston Lightning and also towards the back there, uh, we would have had Opawa Shaden. All in Berlin. <laughs> Lewis sent on its way for the last time to wrap up two good nights of racing here at Hattrick Raceway. Ready. And racing and jumping best centre track here is Gully Flaherty, but there goes Corborn Nevada driving through and Allegro Styles looking for racing room on the inside. Around the outside goes Knock a few back and also Kinetic Assassin. Alamein Jute's got to run through now, getting back is in definite order. Gully Flaherty got a shuffle, they go for home. Corborn Nevada the inside, Knock a few back charges, misses. It will be Corborn Nevada just holding out here. Knock a few back, who was charging home. Very close here for third Allegro Style, just there from Alamein Jute. Then we go back to indefinite order. Back here to Gully Flaherty and just in behind that kinetic assassin.
Good race. Corborn Nevada. Drove through the center. 